All right, you guys. This is what I use in my uh, 40 gallon breeder reef tank as far as the filtration goes. So let's get into it. We got two, I think like one pound bags of charcoal. There's one, there's the other. And I also use Seacam Boss Guard. Um, let's see. Some really good stuff that lowers your phosphates. Uh, I think it's uh let's see it's 17 bucks for the Fosgard, but it works great. Um, so it could prolong your water changes. And then we also use denitrate right here. I just got done with the uh, a water change right here. I was using Prazi Pro to uh, treat the tank. I'll get in my upload pretty soon uh, for the video. But yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what I use for my chemical filtration, along with uh, the bio balls, of course. And then you got the filter media right there. I'm back with a quick update on the tank. Um, pretty much just document if it, everything's growing accordingly um, and what's not. Um, so I added Prazi Pro in the reef tank probably like two weeks ago. I had to run it. A full dose so you have to do five days with a uh, no skimming uh, remove your carbon and your false guard whatever whatever else you have um, that could take it out and you just have to let the filter run um, and pretty much just the power heads so uh, I added it mainly because I thought the saddleback clownfish might have been sick um, but it looks like he's recovering pretty good. I didn't know what that was, what he had. So I just wanted to be safe because I didn't give him a two full rounds in quarantine is my mistake. Um, so now that that's out of the way, um, everything's pretty much been growing great. Again, the encrusting monopore has been uh, encrusting more on that rock work. We have the dunking coral coming back to life. I finally glued it down. I noticed it kept falling over. It's because of uh, this little asshole over here. That guy, look at him. He looks like that thing from uh, a Bug's Life, the caterpillar. Um, so I had to glue that down because that's where he perches, right about there. Um, but yeah, the Favia coral, it looks like it's growing a bit more, though I noticed, I'll take you on this side. I noticed some bubble algae growth on the side right here. Let's see if I could get a good look. So I may have to add some, I'll probably just add one emerald crab. I had one in my old tank. I'll probably post it in this video uh, of what my old tank looked like. Um, that's when I first got into this hobby. Uh, pretty much just trying out new fish and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, as for the, um, uh, the toadstool leather, it's extending its polyps a lot more. Uh, it seems to like this spot, so I'm gonna just keep it on the frag rack for now. Uh, the maize brain coral's been doing great. It looks like it's finally gonna encrust over this rock work, hopefully soon. Um, the Kenya trees, as always, doing great. A nice softy to add to your tank if you're looking for something, uh, to potentially grow fast. Then we got the zoanthids. There he is again. So I had to glue the zoanthids down too, but it looks like it's slowly starting to encrust over the rock work. Then we got the frog spawn, the Euphelia garden over here. You know, I don't got a lot of money right now, but eventually when I do, I'll probably add another uh, hammer or something. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm still not quite sure what this is. Uh, it looks like a mushroom or something. Um, but then you have the Paleozoas over here. Looks like it's encrusting great on the rock work. Uh, and then you have the dunking corals. Oh, my bad, the candy cane. It's finally coming back to life. There you could see the green algae, the bubble algae. Um, so I have to get an emerald crab. They seem to do great with bubble algae in my past experience. Um, being this is a 40, I'll probably only get one. Um, but 
yeah. We have the uh, other Duncan coral growing more heads. Its color is finally coming back because uh, I used to use tap water in my old tank. Um, then we have, I think these are Blastos growing some heads. Uh, I noticed with the Prazi Pro is kind of reducing the soft polyps. So the Xenias are slowly getting back um, to pulsing again. Um, and then I don't know if you could see over here, but I added a green bulb anemone. I got it uh, for 30 bucks. Um, and I just love the colors here. Let's see if we can get a better look. It finally found its footing in uh, the rock work right there. I noticed if you have a younger tank, mine's probably about three months old. As long as you have some coralline algae, the foot is most likely gonna stick to coralline algae. Um, so if you start your tank off with live rock, I'd wait about uh, probably three to four months before you should add one of these in. Um, other than that, we got the torch coral, the saddlebags doing great. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys one more cool thing about the corals growing. If you look right here, the uh, clove polyps are finally starting to encrust over the rock work. Um, so hopefully it could take up about this much of space on the rock work and down under. So I could have kind of like a flower garden, flower pot garden right there. Um, but other than that, I've been dealing with some hair algae issues. Uh, pretty much I, uh, put the white light on a little more than longer now, because I noticed it extends the polyps of the corals, uh, more puffier, kind of like this candy cane over here. Um, so there are some drawbacks with that, but, uh, the lawnmower Blenny has been taking care of most of this stuff on the back wall. Um, but yeah, other than that. Uh, that's about it for this quick tank update.